Next is the Canyon Fuel Company's Safco Mine in Scumpa Canyon. Under the category of outstanding results following application of innovative environmental technology. And I hope I said... Uh, Scumpa. Scumpa. Scumpa means sweet water by Paiute, Paiute Nation primarily. Welcome. I think some other... Some other ethnic groups too use that word. Skumpa or Quichupa are two words in our local area, and uh, we don't want to talk about the definition of Quichupa in a public setting. So. <laughs> <laughs> but Skumpa means sweet water. My name is Ken May. I'm the general manager at the Sufco Mine uh, Canyon Fuel Company. And uh, we have unique opportunities from time to time and get to come before the board, so we, we uh, appreciate the opportunity to be here today first first slide here just shows uh, some photos of uh, protection enhancement and sustainability in our community efforts to try to enhance areas in the in the areas where we live so let me see do you, do you have oh there okay first of all we've got a a uh, slide here showing Helicopter assisted exploration. This isn't part, this was part of our original application, but not, not the main topic for today. But we wanted to demonstrate how our company is, is making an uh, all out effort to comply with regulations and, and actually do, some, do things that are, that are supportive of uh, environmental behaviors that we, that we aspire to. Uh, issues here are water location, uh, and access to drill sites and surface disturbance and noise and and you can't get there with roads actually in an, in an expeditious fashion so we've adopted helicopter assisted drilling skyline brought that up a few minutes ago same kind of projects we we do a lot of this now in fact a hundred percent of our exploration drilling is done with helicopter assisted drilling with very little if no, hardly any impact on the environment so we wanted to put this up today to uh, to show you that uh, we're we're good citizens and trying to make sure that we comply with regulatory requirements in our exploration program. Next slide, just that. Okay. The project for today is the Scudamore Reservoir that's about five miles uh, to the west of the Sufco Mine, and outside of any requirement for regulatory uh, compliance, we took this project on in conjunction with uh, the Forest Service, uh, Division of Wildlife Resources, and local trucking companies to try to uh, retain water, sustain a fishery population, maintain riparian areas, and access for recreation for local people. Uh, solutions, the solutions we were trying to get to is repair a sinkhole that you can see. I guess, does this work? Good, come up, okay, there we go. There's a sinkhole in the left side of this where the cursor is that uh, had compromised this old dam structure and wasn't allowing water to be impounded in this area. And, and there's a natural portion of this uh, lake that, or the uh, original lake, uh, tried to, was enhanced years ago with a dam and, uh, and that had been compromised. And so we, we took that on as a project with the other cooperating groups to try to improve uh, fishery populations and provide recreation for for uh, folks in the in the local area. <coughs> so here's here's a couple photos. Uh, one photo up up here at the top. I can't make this work again. There we go. Okay, you may have to run this for me. Anyway, this is this is a. Uh, where the sinkhole had been eroded down through the dam, compromising the dam. Uh, photo over here from another viewpoint, and some construction work going on to repair that. Uh, some more photos. Uh, this is the berm that we were constructing to uh, to enhance uh, the retain, to retain additional water. In that, we basically divided. This lake into two portions to uh, retain water, improve habitats. This is a uh, an access road that comes along the side of the, the side of the uh, lake to provide access for fishermen and a picnic turnaround area. And 
We also, this was kind of a two-year project between 2013 and 2014. We, uh, we also improved the road, 4.8 miles of road. We graded, uh, applied gravel, uh, improved ditches. This is the picture over here on the left is a picture of where the road, the condition of the road was deeply rutted, almost impossible to travel. Uh, we, we changed that in conjunction with the Forest Service and local landowners to be a road that you could actually get in, and it's a very nice, very nice access now. This is the this is the way the reservoir finishes up. Um, if you remember the first the first uh, here it is. Remember the first photo. This reservoir area was a small area about like this, and fish winter killed. Uh, we we could not we couldn't uh, couldn't get fish to or the DWR could not get fish to hold there, so it was a put and take arrangement. They wanted to enhance the fishery. So we and the two trucking companies, Barney, Barney Trucking and uh, Robinson Transport, came in. We built this dike across here to, to maintain this portion of the reservoir. Solved the problem with the, uh, with the diversion with this dam and uh, the washed out area. And now allow water to, to both fill this area and this one but this area is always retained so we can improve fisheries. Obviously, there's an yeah. ecological benefit, longer retention of water, deeper water to promote fish survival, uh, promotes nursery and breeding habitat, uh, restore, restoration of uh, riparian areas, improve recreational opportunity, reduces sediment loading downstream. Just some photos of the, of the reservoir now and it's a it's pretty nice, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice reservoir that allows fish to uh, sp to reproduce and uh, and to hold over the winter. Some photos of people that was uh, using the area. Wildlife uh, use this frequently, and so do so do cattle. So, the goal of our project was in, to improve uh, aquatic habitat in the Scudampar Reservoir for the benefit of fisheries, uh, wildlife, and to enhance the recreation, and to re enhance recreational opportunities. Uh, by repairing the sinkhole, uh, the retention area was made sound. The reservoir was able to retain water and, and, and run off from drainage during uh, periods of high flow and floods. The construction of the berm divided this uh, old reservoir lake into two parts. Uh, into two sections which could uh, support fishery populations. Uh, during drought years, this, the uh, downstream portion is uh, filled and retains the water and deep enough to, retain, to uh, maintain aquatic habitat in winter months. The berm was constructed, so the runoff and groundwater flow is, he is uh, in heavy periods can be retained on both sides. SUFCO believes that sustainability is a requirement. Uh, imposed on our generation to manage uh, this re the resources like this in such a way that aquatic life or quality of life and, uh, can be enjoyed and potentially shared by our future generations. So that's our project. Uh, again, it's completely out outside the scope of a regulatory requirement, something we did, we took on in conjunction with the uh, Forest Service and DWR. There's a letter here from, from uh, the Division of Wildlife Resources also supporting our efforts. So. Good project. It's worth consideration for an Earth Day Award. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was very good. Appreciate it.